then the hadith says فَإِلَّمْ يَسْتَطِعْ If he is unable to change it by hand, then he should change it by his tongue. How is the changing by tongue? The changing by tongue is not through uttering bad, abusive, vulgar words that some of the pious and also those who are not so pious do today. Where people see someone uh, not doing something appropriate, maybe they've posted it on Instagram. You might see a sister, for example, who might have exposed a little bit too much and or uh, something you may consider immoral. Uh, do you just swear them? Do you utter hateful words, hurtful words? No, you're making the matter worse. Think about it carefully. You have to utter words that make the truth according to you manifest in a very respectful way. Your intention is to change the evil, not to cause more evil. A lot of people falter here as well. You have people who start refuting others and swearing them, belittling them, calling them very bad names. Don't do that. You're actually engaging in an evil in order to get rid of another evil. That doesn't help. Two evils don't make you right just because you engaged in one after the other. You have to make sure that you did something that would be convincing enough with your tongue, with your capacity. And the tongue would also mean perhaps online, you know, you said something online, uh, you, you wrote an article, you might have had a video, you might have, you know, did something more than just feeling it in your heart. The first level was to physically change. The second level is to convince, to address the mind, to talk to the people. And the third level, if you cannot talk, you cannot express yourself, you cannot correct it, you think that it's going to make matters even worse. If I were to open my mouth or comment in any way, be it online or offline, if you think by your commenting, it's going to make matters worse, you have the right not to comment. You can just feel it in your heart to say, you know what, that was wrong. I shouldn't do it. I won't do it. I pray that that person is guided and I pray that they see the light and they don't do it either. So this is something very interesting and very important because many people are falling in this regard today.